So boom, what is up you guys? This is Mick with Fresh and Fleet, and I'm here to bring you guys a new video and you know I had to switch it up for you. Yes, brand new intro and you know how I'm gonna do it. And I will remind you guys, if you're loving my videos, do hit the like button, it really does help me out a lot. So this episode's not gonna be too crazy, but it did touch my vintage fancy and you know how I love that. And I will go back to a lot of people ask me, do I sell my stuff? Yes, I do. Check it out, link down below, my Depop. With no further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> so you guys in here right away, you guys already know what we do here. I uh, got the empty cart and definitely ready to pick. So this is how it works. Decided to start on the other side before the men's. Let's see if it pays off. What is this? Oh. Is this friends or friends? What's <laughs> up, homies? Hmm. Ralph Lauren, medium, nice embroidery, super small, three bucks. Guys, I was about to say another one, but this isn't Polo. Robin Ruth and Rocket Man. what I mean. I did come up on Aaron Carter's Aaron's Party, Come Get It. Who remembers this album? God, this is bringing it back right here. 2000. That face has seen better days. That face has seen better days. Looky, looky, see what I found in the beanie section with the tags. $2.99. That's gonna be a cop. A Jeep one too. Look at that polo polo, huh? Purple Rider, not bad. Go back to like U2, man. I thought I'd cruise over here to my section. I see something I wanna check out over there, but look at this. What am I seeing here? A Ferrari pillow. Does it have a tag on it? Oh, jeez, probably does not have a tag. <laughs> Looks pretty cool though, three bucks. Ferrari. Oh, it's cracking a little bit. Look at that. Galloping horse. Prancing. Prancing. So this is what I wanted to check out. The Thigh Master. No, I'm just joking. Oh, it's from Bally's. It's this. What does it say? Oh, it's for the guy. Dude, I grew up going to these spots with my grandparents in Las Vegas. Look at that. Look. Sun Coast. Resorts. Gold Coast. Nice little uh, sun protector for the car. Not gonna put it back. So sorry. Anything in my spot. You guys know I love this spot. Huh? Huh? You guys, nothing hard hitting. Nothing hard hitting, seriously. You guys know what I like to find, you know? It's just not here. Now that's all said and done with. Look what I found here. Cena Nation. Is it working? Is it working? Let's see. I don't know how to do it. I don't think it's working, but they were three dollars, but it was set for two. What's going on? So these caught my eye directly. What is going on here? These are some like fly knit runner presto. Look at that bottom though. I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. Checking out the backpacks, and I do see they do have a state backpack. This is crazy. I was actually just at Nordstrom's the other day, and these go for like, I think they go for like 90, but I know they're on sale right now for like 60 or 50 or something like that. This is a nice one. State, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but yeah, $3.99. Nice nylon backpack, but I'm gonna pass. Nice and pink. 
quite do see with that. Some of that millennium wear, it's still here. Let's see if the YSL is still here. See the Tabasco? I don't know. It's not even Tabasco, man. Anything spicy? Anything spicy? Let's see, let's see. Yep, it's still here with the stains. And how much are they wanting? Yes, $7 still. For the Yves Saint Laurent. Let me see the... There it is right there. Look at that. It's all nasty, but check it out. Right there. That's where it's at. That's where it always is at. Onto it. The little nice little Nautica jeans here, but that's like, uh, look at the charge in seven dollars. What's going on there? Just nothing in the jackets. Like I said, nothing. You see it, it's clear. Let's do it. You guys, I will tell you this once and once only, but I have a list, okay? I have a list that I check off in my head about pieces, and I've been looking for this piece for years. That's, it's, I'm speechless, okay? Size XL. Check out the Fruit of Loom tag, made in USA, single stitch. Cheers, Boston, 1994. That's what it's all about. Oh, man. Don't you want to go to a place where everybody knows your name? Just can't believe that's insane. Definitely in the cart. <laughs> Look what was hiding in the uh, long sleeves. Five bucks. Look at the crest. Look at the crest. Yes, Tommy Tuesday. That's what I'm talking about. It is Tommy Tuesday somewhere. It's not bad. What is that? Oh, they put this on there usually. Not 25. Oh, 25 pieces. Per rack. Dad, dad. You guys. You guys. What's up with this? What is up? $20 for this. It's so plain. Are you kidding me? Does this have the... Let's see if this has it on the back. Yep, see, I knew it. I have this one in red, and I got it for $4. Look at that. $20 for this? I don't think so. Oh, you guys, that's like I said. This is what it's all about, because I'm collecting pieces throughout the years, and I can't believe I come up on the Cheers Boston 1994. Man, that's going back to it. So this is where all it comes down to. I will be going to the post office right now and hang up another thrift. You know what that means. Let's go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Tommy Tuesday in the mix. Had to wear the hat, had the bag all filled up. Let's do this. Like I said, package is going out. You guys are keeping this going. Thank you. It's yummy. Yeah. Post office was crazy, but we're here. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So this is what I usually work with. Actually, I'm very interested in this bag. What is it? Johnny Walker, that's pretty cool. But check it out, check it out. This is what, this is what I'm seeing right there. A U member, tie-dye cap. What is this? Gotham North, USEF, belt, hat. What the heck? I'm Only thing found. You guys, I just went around this entire rack. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm hoping the bags fare out to be something. Just look at this thing is stacked up. It's never like this. And check out some of these. Some of the jackets and the sweaters. Just something. You guys, this is crazy. Look, AMS, XXX Large. Extra, extra large, made in Pakistan. <sighs> Death Row Records. Look at the tag all roached out too. It's very promising. Hoping this comes out to be true vintage because 
it is about to come up. And again, look at the roached out tag. It's roached out. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, praying, man. I think it feels crazy. Death row. Bags, bags. What did I say? What did I say? DeVry. Check it out, check it out. The uh, shorts coming through. Guest Sport USA. That is pretty dope. Look at the older tag right there. Check it out. Guess for it. It's a dope piece, man. Everything looks good. Everything looks clean. That's what I'm talking about. Five bucks. Now we're in one of my favorite spots at this place is the miscellaneous items. What can we find? This is where I did come up on the uh, Tommy CD holder. That Tommy life, right? Oh, look what I found right here. Look what's hiding. Look at that. Built to independent. That's pretty crazy. Huh. Just the made in China. China, huh? It's pretty cool. This one's a Wells Fargo one. MPSC. Nothing on that one. I check everything, you guys. I do. This is why I do like checking this section. Look at this. The Power Joy classic TV game. It's got 84 extra games. The Power Joy. I've seen this one going on like Amazon. I think it's like 60 something dollars. I know it's cool, but I'm probably going to pass on it. Just $10, you know. What kind of games does it have? Look at that metal pineapple right there. You guys see it? the Thor life right now. Yes, I'm taking off from there. I mean, crazy, crazy. If this turns out to be uh, like I'm thinking, right? That's insane. That's a come up. You know what that means? On to the recap. Let's go. So like I said, recap time. Let's get into it. So like I found in the video, last stop, you guys. Guess Sport USA. That is a crazy piece. Uh, I mean, I like to say swimwear, but as you can see, it doesn't have the inside lining, and it's pretty, like, clean. I'm very surprised about this one, actually. It's a size medium. Uh, like I showed on the back, super clean. The zipper is good. The buttons work. I mean, that's where it comes down to it, man. Crazy part about this is the colorway as well as that embroidery. Look at that embroidery. I will be showing up close pictures on that, but it's a mind-boggling experience. Four bucks. Didn't mind. Had to pick it up. So I did pick up this Polo Ralph Lauren beanie. It was insane, and guess what? Only $2.99. I didn't mind a cop. Couple sweaters, you guys. I mean, I didn't pick up a lot of stuff, but you know what it was? It was in quantity this time. It was quality. That's not like I said, I did pick up one for $4.99. Uh, don't come up on these too often anymore, and you guys can see what I was wearing. I was wearing a Tommy Crest hat, and guess what? There's the Tommy Crest right there. Uh, I found this before in a lime green. This is actually a darker green. It's a very clean color. And like I said, size large. Uh, the tag, the main tag is actually still in there. It's just that it's missing the uh, uh, price tag, but that's pretty cool. And then it has this little tag. I need to take that thing off. But other than that, it's a clean piece. And they, you know, you don't come up on these too often. You kind of know Tommy Tuesday in the mix. And so that I'm going to say, I mean, I don't know completely if this is true vintage from what I was saying. But it is printed super cleanly and it seems to be that the minimal cracking is very surprising to me. But the, the tag is roached down. I mean, you guys can see that. That thing has had some usage and they could barely put the price little color coding tag on there. But look at this, Death Row Records. I mean, this is like I said, this is what dreams are made of. I've, I've been finding a, a few rap you know, memorabilia, shirts and uh, hoodies and stuff like that. And it's crazy. I found the Wu-Tang 1995. That is a surprising piece. I never come up on this stuff. And check this one out. Death Row Records. I mean, no matter what, that's a steal for five bucks. Last but not least, guys, I'm going to say cop of the day because if that death row is real, I mean, that's, I got to say, but this piece I've been looking for 
again forever. It's been years. You don't understand. So I grew up watching the show as a kid. I mean, a bunch of reruns, yes, but it is the Cheers Boston 1994 T. I think you guys all know this, but Toy Story, the character Ham, he's played, his voice is actually played by John Ratzenberger, which was uh, the actor who played Cliff Clavin in Cheers, the friendly postman. But <laughs> what I'm talking about is the condition, the quality, and guess what? The colorway is insane. Uh, I never thought it would come up on this color. It's just like that Gucci colorway that I found in the bootleg Gucci. Look at the tag, like I was showing in there. Size XL, old fruit of the loom tag, single stitch. This is definitely going in the collection. Another one of these classic TV show series tees, and I love collecting them. And other than that, you guys, I'm gonna say thank you for watching. I am switching up the videos like I am showing right now. I'm gonna do a lot of more talking in front of the camera because that's how it used to be. I used to do this in the vehicle I was in, you know, when I go thrifting and stuff like that. And I switched up because it was a little easier to hold the camera this way and just talk like this. But I'm definitely showing the pieces, loving the whole thing, just getting into it. And I will be slowing this down again. Hit that sub button because more videos coming. This is Mick from Fresh from the Fleet.